So you want to practice alchemy? Admirable, admirable. This craft is difficult, but noble. Now to start with, familiarize yourself with your tools. You won't get very far without a cauldron, obviously. And the mortar and pestle will come in handy for grinding herbs and mushrooms, which makes their effects stronger in the potion. But don't just grind them up willy-nilly. It takes some skill. The most important thing is the alchemical map. Every herb and mushroom will lead you somewhere in its own special way. Process each ingredient properly to get the one you need. Keep a close eye on the map as it shows you how your potion will turn out. Lots of interesting things can be found on it, if you aren't afraid to deviate from the familiar recipes. Ingredients grow here, in the garden. It's enchanted to make everything grow overnight, so stop by every day. If you urgently need something, then there are always the merchants. You'll meet them as you go along. Check the prices and make note of them, or they'll charge you an arm and a leg. Also remember that this job is more than just potions and the mysteries of alchemy. You need to be a good judge of people, too. They might use potions every day, but they don't know a thing about them. You'll have to listen to their problems first, and then decide yourself what kind of potion to make. The majority of them are simple people, but you still need to be attentive. You'll have to do some haggling too, but you'll pick that up with time. You can just sell things as is, but it's best to chat with your visitor first. Talk to the customer about something that they like. Earn their trust, and they will pay more, even for a weak potion. One other thing. Experiment with different flasks and labels. You can easily change the shapes and colors to pick the most suitable ones. It's important to keep things organized and even develop your own style. It makes working much more pleasant. Trust an old man like me. And what then? Well, that's something everyone has to decide for themselves. Brewing potions in a cauldron is an interesting trade, no doubt. But if you want to peer into the very depths of this secret knowledge, you'll need to learn something more complicated. That's the only way to become a great alchemist. 